In this video, we are going to cover pack along with frames to create more complicated layouts in tkinter. What we are going to create is going to look something like this. We have a fairly complicated layout that has lots of individual elements that come together quite well. This is quite easy to do if you know how to combine pack with frames. Although for all of this to work, you should already know how pack works and how frames work, along with parenting. Check out the previous videos for more detail, but I will assume you know at least the basics. Just to reiterate, using pack along with frames is going to make it much easier to create more complicated layouts. Basically, what you want to do is always create single direction layouts. With the only exception that some of these items are frames that contain their own layout. For example, we could have one window like this, and in here, we have one frame, a normal widget, and another frame. Note here that this entire widget only goes in a single direction. There's nothing else in there. However, inside of the first frame, we have two widgets, and inside of this frame, we again only have a single direction. But if we combine the two, we are already creating a slightly more complicated layout. This we can make even more complex by adding another layout inside of the final frame. And this one could be a normal widget and another frame. And in this final frame, we could add a few more widgets as well. With this system, we are able to create really complicated layouts without worrying about the pack sites too much. And again, if you don't know what pack sites are or why they can be a problem, check out the previous video that explains all of this in quite some detail. And just for comparison, here is the widget we are going to make. This one has one frame all the way at the top. Then we have a widget here. And at the bottom, we have one larger frame. And this one consists out of two frames. One that goes like this and a second one that goes like so. All of the layouts inside of this widget are single direction layouts, which makes them much easier to handle. That was quite a bit of talking. Let's have a look at all of this in code. All right, here I have a really basic setup. If I execute all of this, we can see a basic window. Although on top of that, I do have quite a few widgets. There are four labels and two buttons, all of which have the window as the parent right now, or the master to be more specific. This I already want to change. The first two labels should have one frame as their parent and the final three should have another frame as their parent. To keep all of this organized, I want to have slightly more detailed comments. Let's get started by creating a top frame. For this, I want to have a top frame and this I create with ttk.frame. This one is going to have the parent or the master of the window, but then label one and label two are going to have the master as the top frame. This is already giving us the first part that we need to make all of this work. This I can now use to create another section here. I'm going to call this layout. Actually, let's be a bit more specific and I'm going to call this the top layout. I want to get my label one and I want to pack this without any other arguments for now. The same I want to do for label two. And now if I run this, we can see that we cannot see anything, even though we have used pack. The reason is that we haven't packed this frame or the top frame to be more specific, which means we do have labels inside of the top frame, but the top frame itself isn't placed anywhere, which is the reason why we can't see anything. To fix that, we also have to get the top frame and pack this one. Now if I run this, we can see two labels. This I can now use, for example, for label one and label two to fill the sides and I'm going to add both in here. If I now add this, we can't see much of a difference. The only difference that we can see really is that label two has become a bit wider. It became the same size as the first label. The reason for that is that right now, both of these labels are constrained by the frame width. And the frame is only as wide as the widest widget, which is the first label in this case. That again, we can fix by also adding fill and both for the top frame. And now let's have a look. Now it covers the entire width of the window. By the same logic, I could use expand here and set this to true. Now we can't see anything. 
But that being said, we know that this top frame here is going to occupy the entire height of the window. The reason why we can't see it is that we don't expand label one or label two. If I expand the two like so, we can see we have both labels covering up the entire window. This is the first part. Next up, I want to place label three, which again is just going to be another label with some text and the background color. This is not going to have a parent, so window can remain. Although I'm going to add a comment here for the middle widget. Tkinta doesn't care very much if you combine labels or frames or any other kind of widget, which means I can also add the middle layout here and simply get my label free and pack this thing. If I now run this, we have another label all the way at the bottom. This one, since we didn't specify any fill or expand argument, it is only going to occupy the minimum amount of space it needs to display the label or the text itself. However, if we set expand to true, now we get some slightly more interesting behavior. What Tkinter is doing now is it sees that we have a top frame and label three. Those are the only two widgets inside of the window. This window here, which we know because both of these have window as their master. Because of that, Tkinter is separating the entire vertical space into two parts, this one here and this one here. I hope this already makes it quite easy to see why using parenting here is really useful. Because what we can do now, for example, for label one and label two inside of the top frame, we could, for example, set the side to left. And now we get this kind of layout, which already is quite a bit more complicated. And doing this kind of thing without parenting would be kind of a nightmare. Next up, I want to create the bottom frame. For this one, I want to create a variable bottom frame, which is going to be TTK frame as well. The parent here is going to be the window. However, for label three, button and button two, the master is going to be the bottom frame. Once we have that, we can create the bottom layout. For this one, I first of all want to place my button. And for now, I'm just going to use pack and nothing else. The same thing I want to do with button two. Although between the two, I want to have label four, which I also need to pack. With this, we have the three widgets. Finally, we have to pack the bottom frame as well. Bottom frame dot pack, like so. Now if I run this, we can see we have the other three widgets at the bottom. Although if I compare this to the demo, we have to get a slightly different layout here. I first of all want to change the side to left. Like so. And now if I run this, these three labels are right next to each other. The problem is they're not expanding. For that, actually, let me show it again. Right now, we're telling Tkinter to look at this top frame here and to take up as much space as possible, then to look at this widget here and to take up as much space as possible. And then we have this final frame here. And this one doesn't get any expand. So it's only as large as it needs to be. That I want to change, which I do with expand. And this I want to set to true. If I now run this, we have a slight improvement. Inside of the window layout, we have one direction and we are separating this into three parts because we have three widget, this one here, this one here, and this one here that compete for space. Because of that, we have three equally sized spaces. This one, this one, and this one. The problem in the bottom one frame is that these widgets are not being told to expand. So they only take a minimum amount of space. This we can also fix very easily. I just want to add expand being true. And now we can't see any difference. The reason for that, if you check out the last video, if you missed it, is that pack only works in one direction. Right now, our side is from left to the right. So we are going this way. And expand only expands the widget in the current direction meaning it tells the first button to take up as much space as possible, same for the label and same for the final button. And then this one here is going to be the size of the frame. 
To make it take up even more space, we once again need to fill argument. And this I want to add to all of the widgets. And now if I run this, this is looking much better. Now we're telling both the frame and all the widgets inside the frame to occupy as much space as they can and fill the entire space as well. Although what I also want to do, if I compare this to the demo again, we have a bit of padding around this. This area here, I also want to add, which if you use frames is very easy to add. All we have to do inside of the bottom frame, I want to add pad X is 20 and pad Y is 20. If I run this now, we have a bit of padding around this. And with that, we have a couple of basic ways to create more complicated layouts. It doesn't really get that much more complicated. You essentially always create a single frame and then you pack widgets in one direction inside of this frame. And if you combine enough of these, you end up with slightly more complicated layouts. And those are also much easier to understand and to implement. Now, you could replicate all of this by using the site very cleverly in tkinter to get really complicated layouts. The problem with that approach, though, is that this really often ends up with very complicated layouts that are really hard to maintain, which is why I would recommend to always stick with one directional layouts and then add frames to create greater complexity. That's basically all you need. All right, and with that, I want to do an exercise and then we're done with this part. What I want you guys to do, I want you to create three more buttons and another frame. The frame should be on the right side inside of the bottom frame, this bottom frame here. And the buttons inside of this extra frame should be stacked vertically inside of it. The result of all of this should look something like this. The buttons should be here. Let me put it a bit to the side and pause the video now and try to figure this one out yourself. We have to get started by creating a few more widgets. This I want to do all the way at the top. I'm going to call those the exercise widgets. First of all, in here, we need an exercise frame. This, once again, is just going to be another ttk.frame with the parent being the bottom frame. This is going to be the only difference compared to what we have done here and here because for both of those, the frame always had the window as the master. This frame here has another frame as the master, which is perfectly fine to do. After that, I want to create button three, and this is going to be ttk.button with the exercise frame as the master. The text can just be button three. This should be a string though, and I should also fix my typo. I can copy this two times. This should be button four and button five, both for the variable and for the name. That is going to be all we need to create the different widgets. Now we have to place them. This I want to do all the way after the exercise comment. In here, first of all, I want to place the buttons. I have button three, button four, and button five. All three of those should be packed. Since the stacking order is going to be vertical, I can just leave the default argument, which is the top side. Although I do want all of the buttons to occupy as much space as they can, which means I want to set expand to true and fill to both sides. Once I have that, I can place the actual frame. And this I called the exercise frame. I want to pack this one as well. And if I run this, let's just see what happens. We are getting something. The problem we have right now is that this pack is very small. It only occupies this area here. To fix that, we have to do a couple of things. First of all, I only want single direction layouts, which means the side here should be left, like so. And let's see what we get now. Now it places this thing in the middle. That's a good start, besides that, I also want to set the fill, and this could either be Y, there we go, or it could be both. Both work perfectly fine. I tend to prefer both because it just works most of the time. But once again, both here are perfectly valid. Finally, what you could also do is set 
expand to true. And that's going to make these buttons a tiny bit wider. With this expand being true, we are telling this frame here to divide the space into four equal parts. We have number one, number two, number three, and number four. And all four of those have the same width. With that, we have created quite a complicated layout. In the next video, we are going to cover grids. This one is going to be even more powerful. So I'll see you there.